Hello, ladies. The Shoplifters is about uh, four characters um, in extraordinary circumstance. Oh, the silent treatment, I get it. So, who wants to start? The play starts with the shoplifter, professional shoplifter, Alma, who, uh, who gets busted for stealing some expensive meat, along with her cohort and apprentice, we'll call her Phyllis. They're caught by a overzealous um, and keen security guard who happens to have caught a big fish on his first day, so to speak. So, which of you here is the ringleader? Her. Are you being questioned? He's the incumbent um, to the security guard, who's Otto, who's been around for over 30 years. So we have uh, the two female characters and the two male characters who mirror each other in terms of their uh, mentorship towards one another. <laughs> Are you crying now? Don't ask if she's crying. Stop crying. Ask we get some crazy situations, crazy uh, circumstances. Um, but what we find in this play is that there is a heart to it. And uh, as, we, as we continue through the scenes and through the play, we start to discover that this play isn't about someone stealing meat. It's about a lot more than that. Morris Panitch, uh, our, the playwright, has put down an amazing um, uh, palette of words and, uh, and a great story for us to capitalize on. And what Morris has done, which is, is really unique, is that the comedy is the structure of the play. Usually when we see dramas with, with some comedy in it, um, the drama is there to amplify the human condition, but in this case, it's a zany comedy um, with a beautiful human touch to it. What serendipity! What do you think, Phyllis? Breathe, like I told you. Seeing Stephen Hare not play Scrooge and seeing Stephen Hare uh, kind of flex his, his chops uh, is exciting. Stephen Hare is often synonymous with the, the role of <laughs> at Christmas time, but uh, he has an amazing uh, ability and a keen sense of comedy that uh, not many people get to see. Ken McDonald's set has, has completely transformed our play. When we got onto the stage, we, we, everything started to click and we all started to, to realize that, uh, that there is this overshadowing element of corporate, uh, you know, the corporate world and, and the, the conglomerate of the mega superstore that, that does uh, permeate its way through this play. And it is basically at the, you know, the, the subject matter of all the you know, dramatic action in this play. Serendipity is a kind of strange coincidence, Phyllis. I thought you didn't tell them my name. It's not your name. I Wait. think the key to the comedy is that because these characters are so um, amplified, um, they're, they're larger than life, they're extraordinary characters in extraordinary circumstances. The key is that there's a truth to them, and the, the element of that truth uh, has to come across to the audience. Um, and I think uh, we've, got a, we've got a crew to do that and uh, the talent on stage to do, to do that. Did you hear that? They got a bus to catch. I heard! Step back a little, give the ladies some room. Uh, I'm saying I would lean towards being a shoplifter <laughs> over a security guard, but not in the sense that you're thinking. <laughs> I've always felt like I identify with the underdog and with the plight of others, uh, especially when it comes to um, corporate entities and, and capitalism uh, and you know capitalism is at its height right now so I, I, I do identify with the, the have-nots over the haves. Well if she's lying to us about your name Phyllis then I suppose she's lying to us about everything else. That's right. She can't speak for herself. How should I know? <laughs>